Hey guys, Tanner69046 here, and I'm back with another episode of Tornado Survival Season 7, Episode 21. Yeah, we'll go with that. Uh, in today's episode, I got a lot of materials here. We're going to be building a little airport because the Flans mod is now in this mod, and I keep crashing my plane on the horrible landing strip that we currently have. So we're going to uh, build us a proper landing strip, hopefully. Um, I did some off-camera streaming and work. Not off-camera, but you know, you get the point. If you missed the stream, uh, a highlight of it was that an EF5 tornado spot. Well, it didn't start as an EF5, but a tornado peaked out at EF5 intensity and tore right through there and barely missed my sugar cane farm. Pretty lucky if I do say so myself. Um, here's a clip of that. Alright, I started recording. Guys, we've got a EF1 uh, plowing towards our sugar cane farm. Save the crops! I like those, uh, those, those numbers. numbers up there. What are you doing, some enchanting? Oh, that's an EF2. I think it's actually gonna miss, so I might have just harvested this for nothing. I think you got too many bookshelves there. Dear God, the enchantment table's going crazy! It sucked up my enchantment numbers! <laughs> <laughs> it's normal now. Oh God, that's a violent EF3. You fell, good job, shut up! I think your stream's a little bit delayed. You think? Oh yeah. Why are the tornadoes so violent lately? I don't know what I finished out of my class. I know I wasn't number one, I can tell you that. No, never <laughs> senior year for sure. <laughs> we don't talk about senior year, okay? Oh man. Oh, I'm in the tornado. This is an F4. We have an F4 right in front of our base now. Oh, this is doing some damage. I'm probably gonna lose my sugar cane here. I mean, this is passing just over there. Looks like we may luck out here. I wish it would tear up this thing. <laughs> oh, it's an F5, boys. We just got an F5 tornado. We have an F5 tornado literally just hundreds of yards away from our base. Oh boy, this is insane. That is uh, going to destroy any trees that were left in this area. Is it still strengthening too? Wow. I mean, yeah, that's kind of just curved around there. I might just for the uh where is this at? We'll just uh turn that on. Wait, no. That's supposed to be what? Wasn't that supposed to reload that? Ah, whatever. Alright, let's try and get an aerial view of this thing. Where's my plane? Oh yeah, it crashed. Oof. Oh, there it is. Oh dear, it wiped out that area. Oh, I thought he was going, I thought he was just going for awful textures. Who? I thought that was his theme. Koros? <laughs> yes. No, he uh, he's doing this on purpose. Is it still an EF5? Are we gonna be looking at EF5 here? Yeah. <gasps> Ow! I just got struck by lightning. We're gonna have to watch out for debris on the runway here. Now my farm is fine. It went around it. We got debris all over the runway. The plane is in rough shape too. Oh, we just missed the debris. All right, we're gonna try and. Uh, 
get a wide view here of this thing. This is going to be on the ground for a while here. Oh yeah, this is a good range. We'll turn it around right here. Yeah, the plane is uh, not very good right now. I'm currently streaming too, for the video's sake. That's why I'm randomly talking chat. Wow, this is huge. Alright, let's uh, go down for a better look here. Yep. Just tearing up blocks all over the place there. That just missed the farm too. It traveled like right through here. Wait, are you, are you recording this too? Yeah. Why? So I'm gonna be in a video? Why? Mouse control mode is now set to false. Apparently that's a, a good reason to kick me Ooh. out of my own plane. Took Whatever. a little bit of damage there. Nonsense. Now that is an EF5. That's a good view right there. We'll just sit here and watch that for a while. Ooh, that lightning strike. That looks pretty cool. Oh, there's two right there. Hey, Pickle gave me a uh, bit. That is the third time. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Look, this YouTubing and Twitch thing is just so hard to multitask. Oh man, it's here. like drinking and driving, you know. Yeah. And eating. Eating, drinking, and driving all at the same time. Can you imagine? This has to be an EF4 now, right? I'm assuming it's down to an EF4. Yep, but it's still monstrous. Thing is huge. Wow. You'll crash in five seconds. Oh, dude, don't, don't worry. I already crashed. That's like the second strong tornado I've had in this world. I don't know what's up. I didn't change the settings or anything. This thing's going into the night. I don't think there's anything for it to hit out here. In fact, it probably goes to ocean land over here. Sheep. Ocean land. <laughs> oh dear God. Oh, oof. Yeah, that sheep did not. Oh, it lived. It lived. Congratulations, sheep. Oof. Pickle was almost the third bitter there until Purple knocked her off. Not sorry, her. Pickle. <laughs> knocked. Octator will land down and then uh, pickle there. Or I'm gonna stop recording now. Back to the video so I can get Bye. back to the stream. Bye. As you guys saw there, that was a near hit by that tornado to our crops. And uh, I want to talk about that for a second. A lot of people they'll say near miss. That was a near miss there. No, um, as the words from my favorite comedian. That was not a near miss. A near miss would be a much more disastrous situation. Because if it nearly missed, that would mean it hit. <laughs> no, we'll see where that tornado went. That was a near hit. It missed, but it almost hit. That is the difference there. So, uh, I want to clarify for people. Don't, don't say near miss unless you're talking about how we nearly almost avoided that. But we didn't, and it's a very tragic and unfortunate event let's sleep real quick so yeah that's uh that's the tornado for this episode uh you can only sleep at night well then hurry up daytime cycle i'm trying to sleep uh we don't even have our plane on us it crashed somewhere i'm gonna try and find it again i need to get this mod working the plans mod that is I have to spawn in the planes currently because you can't craft them. And I'm not sure why you can't craft them. I think it's just it's from the developer side of things. He's just has he doesn't have it set up right, honestly. 
So we're going to look into that. Um, also, the video before this uploaded on my channel was a stream highlight where it was like to be continued or whatever. That also happened on the stream. I almost, I did fall into lava. I almost died, but uh, I found a way to get out of it, luckily, because I had a lot of crap on me at the time. But yeah, let's uh, let's get started here. I want to build the airport right. Where's my strip at? Ah, right here. Actually, I want to make it longer than this. We're going to shred this part out right here. Oh, I wish I had some efficiency on this right now. Okay, that took longer than expected, but we are done, so that's good. Let's just mark off our ideal spot. I'm going bigger than I was originally shooting for here, but we'll put one right there. And I guess just uh, we can connect these real quick. This won't take too long. I'm running out of inventory spaces, if you couldn't tell. But, yeah, this is pretty much our runway here. Now, you're probably thinking, Tanner, aren't you just doing everything you did in... Ooh, we're going to have to cut down that tree. In Season 5, aren't you just blatantly copying that? And I would tell you the answer to that is, yeah, pretty much. But that's okay, because original ideas aren't always necessary. You know, look, we got an original windmill over there. Made it myself all the way over there. And that's pretty darn original, if I do say so myself. So, really, if you think about it, it kind of evens out. Because, you know, we get some nostalgia built, right? Everyone loves a good dose of nostalgia. Nostalgia is healthy for the human body, probably. And I think that once we throw in some nostalgia with this airport, we'll do something original, like a windmill. Or something else that I can't think of right now. I need somebody to upload some more Tornado Survival episodes with more original content. <clears throat> Element of Earth Resistance. Okay. So as soon as I can brainstorm some original ideas, we'll be good to go. So just give me some time. Alright, how about that? 
and then we'll do some original content. But we're definitely building an airport tower to go along with this airport in the next episode. And it's going to look exactly like the one from Season 5. In fact, I already have the glass stained and ready to go because that's that's where my train of thought is right now. But hey, it was a pretty great season, wasn't it? Season 5. At least I'm not copying from Season 6. So uh, if you want to complain some more, maybe I'll just build me a treehouse next. Yeah? Yeah? Yeah, I bet the complaining stops, doesn't it? Man, I kind of copied that from Season 3, didn't I? Huh. Maybe I've really not got any original ideas here. That's alright, though. Original ideas, nostalgia, we went over this. You get the point. Let's build this airport. <laughs> I think I'm going to build a train track going all the way around, too. I know we already got an underground one, but hey, what about a surface one? Yeah. It's pretty good. Also, I've uh, run out of inventory space entirely. And I need to sleep. Yeah, let's go dump off some dirt and then get us some get us some Z's, if you know what I mean. I'm actually running behind schedule right now. It's already one o'clock in the afternoon. I woke up at eleven today, which <laughs> believe me, is pretty good for me to wake up at eleven. I've had a rough sleep schedule for the past couple weeks. <laughs> I actually changed that to past several months. Ever since last summer break, my sleep schedule's been messed up. I went through the entire school year on a messed up sleep schedule. I probably averaged like six hours of sleep a night, and that is not healthy, I will tell you. It's not healthy. But I'm trying to recover it, you know? I can't remember the last time I had a set-in-stone great sleep schedule because it's been that long. <laughs> but if I, can, if I can manufacture one, over some break that would be brilliant because going to college I would like to be able to wake up around the same time that the sun is still on the rise and not on the set you know that way I can still get stuff done in the daylight and you know pass college that would be great passing college sounds really well considering how much it costs um, another thing, we're going to briefly touch on Tornado Wars again, because it's coming along a little more. I sent out invites to those that'll be in it. Right now, we have confirmed me, Purple, Poisonous Cookie, he's not really confirmed, but he doesn't know it, but he's going to be in it, trust me, Toasted Noodle, and Nate O'Power Gaming. We are waiting on Shooter Birdie to get back to us and have him let us know if he's going to be in it or not. So as soon as he lets us know, we'll have our team set up and applications will be sent out, which will hopefully, fingers crossed, happen next week. If you want to be in it, you just have to use those applications, and I'm sure you can access those applications from my channel or any of the other members who are going to be in it. Sounds great. I know. We don't want to run down runway. We want to run up runway. Ha <laughs> ha. Jokes. More digging though, that's unfortunate. But hopefully it'll be a successful season, you know. I'm I'm really looking to have one of those successful seasons. It's it's, a, it's kind of rare to have with Tornado Wars. The majority of them were not successful seasons and ended in arguments somehow some way. It it never fails. It's like Ross getting a divorce off of friends. It's just going to happen. You, you kids probably don't get that reference, but that's okay. Alright. Also, I do plan on having the Flans mod in Tornado Wars, so we probably need to check the functionality of that mod, don't I? Because if it doesn't work in this world, why would it work in Tornado Wars automatically? That's a good question, Tanner. These need to be answered before the series starts. Get on your game, Tanner. <laughs> Oh my gosh. I seriously do though. I, I need help getting the mod set up, but luckily I've got purple for that. I'll just force him into work. One thing you don't know about purple, he cannot Google anything. You ask him to look something up, and he'll get back to you in a couple of years. He is, he is the worst Googler I know. <laughs> like, I'm pretty sure if I handed my grandma a phone and it was like yeah you just typed it into there and Google will pull up an answer for you my grandma would be able to learn quicker than purple is able to use Google 
because he is, I guess the proper word would be incompetent. He cannot do it. He just can't. Alright, how are we looking here? Oh, yeah. It's a good old runway right here. Off camera, I might add some lighting in another live stream, which it is Friday today, and the live stream will be tonight. So uh, if you're wanting to look at a live stream, look at about 8 o'clock Eastern Time. I will be streaming, and usually I'm late to streaming, so it'll be more like 9 o'clock Eastern Time. But hey, you know, uh, you get the idea. Sometime tonight on Friday, I'm streaming. Assuming this video gets up on Friday, this is a lot of editing. I gotta add in a time lapse. A clip of an F5 tornado that happened during a live stream. But I did record that separately because I'm a genius. But still, man, you don't understand. YouTube is hard work, man. It's not just about playing video games. I gotta edit for like 30 minutes, too. You know how hard that is? Editing? It's not that hard, but I still have to do it. Plus, it's not very inspiring when you only get 500 views a video. I'll tell you, tornado survival is dwindling down. There's not as many people as watching as there used to be. I still got me a hardcore base. I, it's weird, I average the same amount of likes for every single video, but for some reason the viewership is going down. I guess that's probably more on YouTube's part, screwing me over, than it is on my part. There's nothing I can do about it, it's just the uh, algorithm is not putting my video in front of other videos. Or next to other videos to help it get noticed. And that's the problem, I assume. Either that or people just don't like watching me anymore. Either way. <laughs> you know. I've wanted to expand my content a little bit, but that's kind of hard to do. Because I don't know. I can't think of a game that you all would all collectively enjoy watching. I've uploaded Gary's Mod a few times, but that's about it. Man, we got a lot of dirt. Alright, we'll place this section here and we'll just end off the episode. That's going to be a solid 15-20 uh, minute episode here. Just by building this little runway strip. Hopefully I got enough stone here. Ah, there's a double block placement. It's not as bad as it used to be, but man. I'll tell you, this game, it, it makes me mad sometimes. The simple stuff that needs to be fixed in this game, but the developers neglect to do, to instead add llamas and shipwrecks and parrots and dolphins and turtles and stupid stuff that just doesn't go with the theme of the game. It it angers me how and just, just just sad, just sad this game is now that it's owned by Microsoft. Like we're in 1.12, and I don't think I've used a 1.12 feature in this series at all. I don't think it interests me. Oh yeah. That's a runway right there, boys. That is a runway if I've ever seen one. Let's take this part out here. Make it better. Oh. oh yeah, this is looking real nice. This is fit for a plane, a small sized plane. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That'll work right there. It's probably, I think the season five one was bigger, but this isn't a bad size either. It's pretty good. All right, well that's gonna do it. Hope you enjoyed. Like, comment, subscribe. If you did, give me any suggestions, please, because I will take them. That's going to do it. Hope you enjoyed, and I will see you all later. Bye.